we started. Welcome back to the Ellen Matt Rink Up Halloween day three. Yes. Yes. It's been so long. We haven't. We've lost track of the days <laughs> after two of them. I'm trying to think of Halloween songs. I, I don't know if there's a song that's like a childhood song that's like Happy Halloween. Da 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 da. It might be, but happy, there's songs about happy, monsters. Happy, happy Halloween, happy Halloween. Who are you going to call na, Ghostbusters? Na, na, na. We could just do We Wish You a Merry Christmas to the tune of We Wish You a Happy Halloween. You just, what, what did you have in your... It's my beard. Okay. I just came out of the show. I just, showered for yeah, the podcast. I, I showered before. Because there's a video, yeah. and uh, I you wanted my hair to look if you really wanna. bad in it. So It's amazing. Thank All you. right, we watched the movie Tag, which I... Which is different. There's two, there's several movies named Tag. This is not the American comedy called Tag. This is a... Is it Japanese? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Japanese... And I didn't write fun fact. Film called Tag. Yeah, there's another name for it. There's like a long name after that. I'm guessing it's the Japanese. It's like uh, uh, Juon. Kind of thing like the garage juan so it's something like that came out in 2015 usually my choices my japanese choices are much older so yeah audio is recording too yeah. audio is recording we yeah so i found that like just i don't know i just scrolled on lists of horror movies and happily it was on amazon prime so we didn't have to rent it. Yeah, we're trying not to rent any movies this month. It's either stuff that we own or it's on a streaming service that we already subscribe to and are probably paying money for watching it on months that we don't watch it, like Disney Plus. We subscribe. I haven't watched a Disney movie in a while. I watch Disney movies. Okay, when's the last time you watched one? A few days ago, I watched Robin Hood. Okay, so there you go. Money well spent then. I know, of course. I stand corrected. Thank you. Uh, Don't you dare to cancel my Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I would never, especially in the times of COVID. Disney has had to close their parks. It's it's tough on these businesses. So, as a we support them. As a barely employed person, that is living paycheck to paycheck, I feel the need to support Disney. I, I, we went to the mall today. I thought about going to the Disney store, trying to find some thing on clearance that had some sort of reference to my childhood, but you know, just too many pairs of shorts and spent time waiting in line in Primark. I just couldn't do it. That's why, are you serious? Why didn't you say anything? No, Live no, I didn't really want to go there anyway. I'm kidding. All right, back to Halloween. I know the mall is also terrifying, but. Back to Halloween. By the way, chopping mall. Maybe I would have got mall. some Nightmare on Christmas <laughs> yeah. stuff. I, I, was, Christmas. I was thinking about chopping mall more. Uh, yeah, what was it? The South Shore Plaza? What, was it just called the Braintree Mall? I think so. I don't know. We're new to the South Shore of Massachusetts. I haven't really... Uh, Discovering the area. Yeah, I've discovered that people are just as bad at drivers here as they are in Boston and on the North Shore. I went to and everywhere in the world. The same in Israel, too. The same people. Yeah. I don't know. I was at I was at a left turn arrow, and two different people were behind me, honking the horn to go. Earlier tonight, which is very frustrating. <laughs> anyway, we watched the movie Tag. You said you found it in a list of horror movies. See? Yeah, I think like it was. It might be like IMDb or something similar. Just like Google list of horror movies. Yeah. See, I, there. This movie was definitely. Gory in what is in many gory? parts, lots of blood and guts. Okay, but I don't know if I had to categorize it. I don't know if I would necessarily put it as a as a horror movie. Of course, it's a horror movie. It's kind of like psychology horror movie. Psychological. Psychological, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like you're trying to figure out what's going on, and it's scary to realize that things are like coming together more and more, and it's the first, the same person. It's like, and then it involves right, well, like just blood and stuff. Explain like, it a little bit because it, 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 I think we're. Let's let's start from the beginning. Judge by the cover. 
Yeah, I said it looks like a comedy. I said Asian schoolgirls reminded me right away about like of a battle royale. Uh-huh. It was pretty cool and very creative, so I kind of like went to that. The cover? Place. Yeah. Was very creative. No, just... Battle Royale was very creative. I mean, creative. It was kind of like insanely creative. With that. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, you know when you have an idea and you're like, no, that's too much for the world. I shouldn't say that out loud. Like and then the forcing pe- children to murder each other on an island? Yeah, and then someone in Japan actually created the movie. Like 15 years ago? Yeah. Or more, yeah. I can't believe I've... We just watched it recently. Yeah. And I can't believe they didn't watch it before. It was very good. Yeah, I mean, th- this also featured school-age people like Battle Royale did, but there really wasn't that much similarities. No, that. not at all. It was just... <laughs> besides, uh, the movie starts off with a bunch of girls on a bus and they're giggling and having a pillow fight. Yeah, which was weird. Wait, what was your body count? Um, I guess there would be 18. I guess 30. I won, though, like millions. There's a lot. Yeah. First kill? I said 31 minutes and 30 seconds. I said 10. Oh, I won. Yeah, you were it the was closest. Four minutes. So the movie starts off with them on a bus. And, and then I wrote like at least 30. So. Well, a girl drops her notebook or her pen or something. Like, you just dropped a piece of paper yeah. if you're watching the video. Now I'm going to go down and everything else is going to Yeah, and so something sweeps across the bus and chops it in half. So everyone who was standing upright on the bus, which is everyone except the protagonist character, is just uh, gutted. I mean, they're not gutted. They're disemboweled decapitated I don't know if you could say decapitated for anything besides the head but they're just from the shoulders shoulder shoulder I thought it was more like the midsection maybe but yeah you see the tops of all these bodies squirting blood <laughs> and then uh, the bus veers off the road and it happened to two buses so it was like a bad wind so I thought okay this is a Japanese horror movie the the killer is, is the wind. Is the wind? <laughs> all right. So uh, they're sent. They've been sent to the land of wind and ghosts. So uh, yeah, th- that was pretty aus- awesome and auspicious start to the film. And then the girl is running away from the wind as it. Can kills. we go back to the pillow fight? I feel like we didn't uh, give enough attention <laughs> for that. I, th- I just was wondering. Why did I go to the wrong school? That looks fun. Yeah, I don't the know. Bus. It's a very, st- very st- stereotypical pillow fights with girls. I don't know. That's been like sexualized over the years. But and I've <laughs> never seen too. like a pillow that's just filled with feathers like that. And of course, they're floating in the air, which be- which turned into some sort of symbolism later on. And so she's running away. She uh, happens upon some people on bicycles, and the wind gets them too. I think she might have had one person that she was running with for a little while, and then they get turned into a big chunk of meat with blood squirting out of it. And then she sees a bunch of girls playing by the river after she had gone in there to clean off her bloody clothes, and they all died. So she steals clothing that had been hanging on uh, a tree from one of the girls and then just finds civilization and it's a, a different school of girls. Now I have to say about this school, from the outside it looked just like the school in Battle Royale. Did you realize that? Do you remember at the end when the coach, basically the teacher, is like working out with himself, like screaming to himself and the... Like a, a soccer field. Yeah. It looked just like the outside. I thought it might be like, uh, I don't know, something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, Japanese have a very uniform school system. All the schools look the same. I don't know. Who knows? I didn't really notice that, but 
cool detail if that was done intentionally to pay tribute to an, another classic genre movie in the past. But so she falls in with this group of girls and and they somehow know who she is, but they're calling her a different name. And so she's freaking out, like she's trying to figure out if she was just dreaming or hallucinating or something. And then uh, she falls in with these girls and one of them takes her kind of under the wing and comforts her. Aki. Says that uh, they're gonna cut class so she can just relax and you know, gather her thoughts or whatever. And so they do, and they have this whole funny, weird day. And uh, there's a, a kind of a stereotypical outsider goth chick. And she explains that uh, maybe what she said is true. Maybe it all happened in a, a parallel life that's happening right now. And we all live a million lives, and there's all different possibilities. You just got to do something difference to set yourself up yeah there were like cool sentences in the movie i liked some of them i don't really remember but yeah like I, if you want to change like why did she she talked about like yeah you want to change that. something you have to do something do something you would normally not do and that will change the path of the moment yeah but she said like our lives are decided just like this feather dropping by the time it hits the ground Everything that's going to happen is all laid out. And uh, so that kind of helped her get her head around it. She still was not sure if what she saw was real or whatever. And then she goes back to class. And uh, the teacher who saw them skipping, who they just blatantly ran past <laughs> earlier, she uh, just takes out a machine gun and guns everybody down in the class. Except for the protagonist, which of course, she somehow makes it out. So we're thinking, all right, is there something special about the? I mean, granted, you think someone's something special about this girl anyway, because she's the lead character of the movie. But is there something that keeps her from dying when everyone is being mowed down in a hail of bullets? And does she just have luck, skill, mystical powers? Who knows? But she runs like everybody else in school runs out. All the teachers started doing it, even though it was just those girls that they were allegedly mad at. But hey, it speaks to uh, something that a lot of teachers probably have pent up deep inside. Maybe not so drastic, but possibly. And then she runs away and she's running. And then she's somehow in a marathon. No, she's first. She's the bride. She's the bride first? Okay. Yeah. All right. So she's. The she marathon gets, is the last one. All right. So something happens. And so she becomes like a security Which, by guard. the way, I just realized now. I realize. I, there are different actresses yeah. that play that girl. There are. But she's supposed to be like the same person, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So she becomes older all of a sudden. She's like dressed as a security guard or maybe she's dressed as a, still in her schoolgirl outfit. And, uh. No, she meets a security guard. Yeah. Okay. So she meets a security guard who says, why are you dressed like this? You got to go. And they get picked up and taken in a car somewhere. She looks in the mirror, and that's the first time that she's a different actress. And she's going to be fitted for a wedding gown. And uh, things are real weird. But then someone sort of clues her in. They're like, just follow my lead. That's Aki. Aki stays the same. The okay. same name. The same actress. So her friend Aki, who she met at the second school, is also in this wedding scenario and she just starts beating the shit out of a bunch of people at the wedding like kung fu fighting style like not gory it's i mean you know what now when i'm thinking about all that movie it 
makes sense like a dream. You know when you have a dream and you're like, what? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you walk and then boom, you see it. I mean, you're a schoolgirl and then you walk running away from something and a police officer is stopping you and you're a different person and you're about to get married. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it sounds, if you're going to tell exactly what happened to someone, it will just sound like you're telling him about a dream. Yeah. Isn't it weird when you talk about dreams with people, you are so excited to tell them about it. It doesn't and, make sense and, to people. And, but then you see their reaction to it and they're just like, ah, oh, okay. Is, is this going to be wrapped up soon? I don't <laughs> care. Like, even if someone like at work told me that they had a dream that I was in. And they were very excited, and I was just like, okay. I was mean, they I, naked? No. Uh, but it's it's flattered to be cast in someone else's dream. <laughs> but uh, You killed me in my dream. I was mad at you because of a dream. I even don't remember what you've done. I don't know, and I didn't ask because... A few days ago. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, if you tell me about it, I'll listen, but... I'm 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 not that interested. Like he woke up being like I'm mad. You were mean. I to didn't want to talk to you. Why do you think I'm gonna tell you what I had in the dream? You're yeah. supposed to know. Yeah. So I had one, you know, <laughs> zero interest. But uh, so this is sort of like a whole movie like that. Even retelling it, I don't know if you're interested in listening. <laughs> this, is, this is a second hand thing. Uh, and we watched this a few days ago, and the longer you go. Even how, if you had a very vivid dream, the longer you go without talking about it, the foggier it becomes. So she becomes a person in a wedding, and then they kick some ass, and then she runs away, and then she becomes a runner who's in the middle yeah. of a marathon. Yeah. 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 She tries to kill the, basically, it's supposed to be a groom. There is like a, a coffin on the stage oh, where yeah. she's walking That's to. A, it's a very goth-style and wedding. Yeah, and then the coffin is open, and there is a person with a pig mask on it. <laughs> right. It does sound like a dream. Yeah. I mean, now I realize that one. <laughs> yeah. And then, the <laughs> do you remember when I told you about the it's dream? It's very like, Texas. I'm going in the aisle, like. and then there is a coffin, and I open the coffin, and there is a person, but oh. instead of a face, he has yeah. a pig mask. So yeah. I stabbed him. It, it does sound just like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what she does. She yeah, stabs she's the pig him. man. And, and runs away because everybody else tries to hit her now. <laughs> right. It becomes a Benny Hill chase scene with no music. <laughs> and then she's just in a marathon. She's a runner and a famous runner because everyone's watching her. And is it someone says, like, don't finish. Like, they don't want her to finish. People are trying to kill her. The pig man is back or something. The pig man is we a, watched this is during the day character. and I don't think I, I, I don't think I kept, I, I don't think I was close to falling asleep, but it, you know, because I'm reading the subtitles and I'm in, engaged in the movie wondering uh, where it's going to go. And if it's really a horror movie, I don't think so. But uh, the things just keep progressing and you want to take it over from there? Because I really don't remember, like, the... the so after she runs, uh, Aki tells her, like, run from this way and just keep running. And she runs, and then she arrives to a weird tunnel, and she walks in there. You basically think that she's finally found a way out of that very weird, disturbing kind of, like... Yeah, these four different situations. Yeah, like dream, or you're not sure what it is. And she walks, and she sees a lot of creepy, scary character, like zombies standing there. And then Aki is coming to save her, and she tells her to pull the cords from her <laughs> right. wrists, which, which she looks has. disgusting. They're like veins, one, they're fuses coming out of yeah, the Yeah, one was blue, one was red, like, just like cables in the car and also like a vein and and uh, and how do you say it looks like you know how the, the popper vein, things vein and i mean you art art are an artery artery okay yeah vein and artery so yeah one is red one is blue and she asked her to pull it because only that will finish it 
because yeah. they're lo- they locked them all there. Which sounds like dream logic again. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so she tells her like, "You're locked here. We all locked here. We can't get out. You're the only person that can save us all. Just pull those like cables." And she does. And it's very graphic and yeah. seems very painful it's for cool, though. for her. And she then there's like pulled light. Apart. Yeah. And she starts to walk, and she sees around her a lot, like all the characters, like just the bodies standing on the walls. Mm-hmm. Then, and she keeps walking, and then there is a weird, very very old person. No, no, she sees a poster case. first that advertises oh, right. the they game for, tag, yeah. and the people are like playing it as her. Yeah. And and it's like in the future. It's like 2030 something. Yeah. And so she f- realizes that she is the subject of a video game, a very popular one in this bombed out metropolis of the uh, things to be. And then she f- stumbles upon a very old man playing it. Even though it's the future, he's playing with some like shitty joystick. Hey, just, I still play Super Mario. But with a joystick, though? Like an 80s You just 80s got us thing? those... What is it? Yeah. A, a, the, a wheel? What? No, the the console. Right, but with, this is like... Sonic? Why do we have that? Atari level stuff. And, uh, yeah. And she, she, he's playing out situations of her, and she surprises him, doesn't like attack him or whatever... He explains that she is dead. She has died a long time ago. And that he took a sample of her DNA to create this this world and this game. And and I think he is like over 100 years old too. Just, just for the hell of it. Why not? But he has this random... And also, by the way, I think that you pointed this out. We're watching it. This is maybe 70, 80 minutes into the movie. These are the first male characters that we've seen. Yeah, they're like female the entire... So basically... I thought now, there might have been a now male when bicyclist saying, earlier, but I guess not. No, no, no. Now when we're saying that, it also makes sense. They created like this weird creep guy creating... I feel like there's a lot of like deep levels beside like those things. Yeah. And I feel terrible that I didn't do my homework. Well, there's and so much look violence for, like, against th- women in media and... Then, uh, Yes, and then they're like all the characters of that like weird schoolgirls things are like female, and then there is a guy that comes there into the room, and he wants her to basically have sex with him right. to f- make the game perfect because that's the how r- a man's brain works. Just the ran- exactly the random young <laughs> man that's the roommates with the old man, which is typical city living. By the way, based on a on a story. Okay. Would, if there is a an English version of it, I would like to read it. All right. If I find it. You are certainly welcome to do to yeah. do so. I am. I mean, I'm just I j- I'm just sure that like a a book version of that thing would be really, I don't know, psychological. It would be very weird. psychological. And. <laughs> Uh, I would like to get into that world. Just like she got into the bed with the young, studly looking yeah, she, man. Yeah, she went there. She laid on her back. And then she turned to him and killed him! How did she kill him? Did she stab oh, she, him? No, something? she just put the, the pillow on it. No, she stabbed him? No, she just started to hit him or something. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I just feel like a. A young, strong man wouldn't be killed so yeah, easily. Yeah, but it's it's a game. She's a character in a game, and he's probably too. He's in real life, though, because the old guy created the game. Anyway, but whatever. And she realizes that she can't get out of the game unless she dies, like because her character doesn't die at all in the game, and so that will disrupt things. I don't know. It'll stop her DNA from continuing or something. So then we flash back to like all the characters, and they just make the opposite choice that she made earlier, 
Like she stays standing up on the bus and it kills her. She gets shot by the teachers. She stabs herself as the bride instead of the pig man. And I don't remember how she killed herself with the running part. But she dies a bunch. And then the old man is very angry. Yeah. That his favorite toy is not long, no and longer the, working. And then the feather turns red. And it's a beautiful scene. Yeah. I really like to appreciate those moments of... I don't know. It's like American Beauty with the with the roses. Reminding <laughs> me of that. Yeah. Kind of like. But there are red suicide feathers. A simple, weird thing that just like. I feel like the color red is kind of like a very strong, emotional color already. So no matter what you're gonna do, if there's All like. All red e. What? All red e. Because you said the color red already, it has the word red in it. Go on. Ma? I was making a joke because you said already. You said the oh, color oh. red, and uh, oh yeah, and, I understand. Okay, now you understand. I'm tired. Wasn't good enough to explain, but go on. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Anyway, um, no shit. It was <laughs> even less funny when I had to explain what I did to you for three minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, they had to listen to it <sighs> if they didn't live yet. Yeah. Up. <laughs> If you've listened to this this far <laughs> and this makes you shut it off, then I want you wow. to send me an email. MattConaStandup at gmail.com. I want to hear from you. Yeah, so overall, I really, really, really like that movie. I liked weird movies. Did you like it? Uh, I thought it was fine. I, I, I didn't really... I, I think it kind of... I don't know. I don't know if I just... If I liked the What was the one ending. word that you described the movie? I said meta. Ma- what? Meta. Mother. Okay. What is this it? is now the word of the day thing. <laughs> no, we already did groggy. Gory? Gory. Gory. Okay. Groggy is what everyone feels like who's listening to this right now. Meta just means like very self-referential, like it knows what's going on and there's uh, different meanings put into... A seemingly uh, a movie genre that you wouldn't think there would be meaning in, you know. Okay. Like if you just saw, oh, there's a horror movie that starts off with a bunch of schoolgirls getting chopped in half on a bus, you wouldn't think, oh wow, it's about um, feminism or the uh, a statement yeah. about violence against women okay, in the see. video game system Middle. or something. And honestly, like I like the movie fine. I would never watch it again probably and i really don't think it was much of a horror movie um it was kind of you don't want to know what's my word i do but i'm just like explaining my uh my thing what is your word my word is arcade but now i want to change it to a dream yeah you can you can do that changing because nobody knows what you wrote down until you read it arcade i wrote arcade and i still think that it's a cool word one word for me to what i felt in the movie yeah um yeah life is but a dream yeah i like dreams there could be parallel lives of us right now yeah reviewing a different movie (laughs) on a podcast dying on the on the bus Uh, i hope not full of japanese girls I hope that does not happen to either of us. What? We're not going to die. We're going to live in an endless video game. Yeah. There's, there you go. Oh, poor Mario. Now I'm thinking about all those characters in the video games. Well. They're trapped. Yeah. I mean, weren't you thinking about that with Wreck-It Ralph anyway? Yeah. You didn't feel But bad. they're fine with it. Uh, that's what they that's what the filmmakers want you to think but I mean yeah. what's her name the little one I forgot I'm so tired yeah Sarah Silverman <laughs> yes she's she's really not fine with it though she doesn't like to stay in the same place yeah and then she went and she met Shaq and now she has better places to go with Gal Gadot there you go alright so if you haven't watched Tag or Wreck-It Ralph <laughs> Get no, that's Ra- Ralph breaking the end. Oh, Ralph the, breaks, breaks the, the internet, internet. Right. Yeah. I didn't see Wreck-It Ralph. So. 
But I have a Disney like, Plus thing that I pay oh, I for, see, so maybe, maybe I'll watch, watch it. it. I like yeah. the second one better than the first one. Okay. Because of Gal Gadot. Yeah, of course. Israeli actress, if you're not familiar. If you've never heard. Wonder Woman. Yes, comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Israeli Wonder. Yeah. No copyrights, guys. All right, so that's Thank it. Thank you so much for We're listening out. or watching. I'm Yael Gavish. Or hearing about this. This is what? Or just hearing about it and seeing a post and being like, hey, I'm going to check that out. Thank you. We appreciate yeah, it. We just want uh, you to talk to us. Yeah. This is Matt Kona. And Good we night. will be here tomorrow, which... Every with, day. With a different movie. That That's true. We're not going to just review Tag for 31 for the, times. Yeah. Okay. We'll uh, listen to us tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Yes. Thanks for listening. Bye.